Hello, Steve Dennis here, and I'm here to talk about how to change your state of mind. Let's grow. You know, I get asked this question quite a bit. Steve, how do you practice or how do you incorporate changes within your mindset? And oh, I cannot wait to share it with you because here's what I know. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, there is hope for you. Let me tell you why. I consider myself to be the world's worst <laughs> at one time in my life where I had somewhat of a, a mindset that was not serving or supporting me. And so to get started with that, here's what I know about you and I know about me. No matter where you are in your life, you and I can bring about, we can make changes within our mindset. One of the things, not, not the only answer, but one answer in particular I want to share with you is something I'm super excited about and it's flowing from my life even authentically right now as we're making this video. And that is, how can I practice turning or having more reflection time? Because here's what I know. Here's the principle. You ready? Reflection time will turn your experiences into insights. Let me run that by you again. When you and I have moments when we can reflect, reflection time, not regret time, okay? So here, real quickly, here's, here's, here's a very strong principle. Reflection, you want reflection time to override regret time. Oftentimes, and here we are at the beginning of a brand new year, 2023, and a lot of people are spending their, their moments and their time and their energy and their thinking regretting something from last year. I want to call a time out. I want to encourage you. Instead of regretting, let's, let's change the channel to reflection time. Because, here we go, reflection time turns your experiences, the good, the bad, and the ugly experiences. Reflection time turns those experiences into insight. Here's what I know. I'm making this up, but it's something that has served me. That regret time would turn my experiences into insults, okay? And I want to encourage you that when you and I have reflection time, my friend, it makes all the difference in the world. So real quickly, if you're taking notes, let me give you at least my top three questions that I use that helps me to have more reflection time because that reflection time will literally help me to change and to shift. You ready for this? To shift my thinking, to shift my mindset. Here's what I know that when you and I can have more of a shift, you automatically will have more of a lift. Come on now. <laughs> when you can shift your mindset, you will lift your life to a brand new level. Hey, come on and grow with me. Come on over to my space today, okay? Let's grow together. You ready? Question number one, reflection time. The first question I ask myself, number one, what did I learn? What did I learn? Not what did I lose, not what went wrong, but what did I learn? What have I learned from different experiences in life? Oftentimes, many people have lived, lived their life according to this statement that sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. My admonition is very simply this. No, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. Hey, can I encourage you? Take that step. Take that particular principle and incorporate it. And, and, and for, for, for an example, to, to have that, that mindset that, you know what? In life, I'm learning something, and in life, I'm winning something. I'm winning and I'm learning. Not winning and losing, but winning and learning. And oh, gang, oh, take it from somebody who, um, who failed two grades <laughs> when I was a kid. I failed two grades, and the second time I failed the fourth grade, the second time around, when I failed the fourth grade, it was so traumatic, devastating, because when I failed, this one guy, he pulled my report card out of my book bag and told everybody I had failed. And he added along with my already thoughts of failure, he added to me, he gave me a new nickname that Steve is a fat flunker. And unfortunately, I allowed that label, that statement to live and to blossom in my own life for over 20 years. And it wasn't until I started getting into personal growth and personal development. Are you ready? and a changed mindset that I realized, wait a minute, 
Just because I failed the grade does not make me a failure. No matter what your past labels have looked like or your past limitations have been like, hey, I got good news for you. There is some greatness inside of you. You're meant to, you're meant to express your greatness and not your great mess. <laughs> so my friend, the question again, what did I learn? Number two, what will I leave behind? What will I leave in 2022? What will I leave in my past life? I know for me, the one thing I left behind, again, unfortunately, the fat flunker thing when I was a kid, as I continued to grow and, 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 and you know, go from different stages of life, at one time I had this ongoing internal dialogue where I was constantly calling myself bad names. Fat Flunker and a whole bunch of other names. Some of them are rated PG-13 and some of them are rated R. <laughs> I won't even give you the rated R version on this video. But one of the biggest changes I have to make that, that really helped me when it, when it came down to really uh, tapping into that question, what will I leave behind? I had made a decision to leave behind a negative, personal, private self-talk. And how did I do that? Oh, I can't. You know what? I'm so glad you asked me because, you know, I have gray hair now and gray hair and no hair. And so I'm at a stage in my life right now where I love empowering people and I love being transparent with you. And you know what? On this video, you're getting some of my best stuff. Let me tell you why. Because I'm, I'm, hey, <laughs> I'm opening up the closet, okay? I'm coming out of the closet. I want to share with you some things over the past few years that has helped me to go from this mindset of I can't, this mindset of oh, I don't know if I can do that or not, or this mindset, you might fail, you might flunk at this, Steve. What helped me to change that mindset over into, wait a minute, I am more than a conqueror. I can do this. I can do anything I set my mind to do that is in line and is, that, that is in harmony with my divine purpose. And so can you. Let me get back to the point. So one of the things I did that really made a huge difference in my life, I spent the year 2009 every day, not, now listen, not every other day, but every day for 90 days. And I went even beyond those 90 days into the whole year. But for the first 90 days, 400 times a day, I would say to myself, I like 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 myself. It's a principle I learned from Brian Tracy that really helped me in 2009 to change or to shift my mindset and also my vocabulary from being a person who was always down on himself and always criticizing himself to someone who learned how to coach himself. I learned from my mentor, Jack Canfield, how to turn my inner critic into my inner coach. <laughs> In other words, I moved away from always criticizing Steve, and I learned to find more ways of how can I help to coach Steve and to help Steve get to the results and, the, and to get to the objectives that he wants to get to in his life. Here we go. That is in harmony with my purpose and not my pain. Because my purpose will help me to literally, to literally transfer over into my power. <laughs> so here we go again. I like myself, I like myself over and over again. That statement will help the subconscious mind to translate over to the conscious mind. Wait a minute, my life does matter. And that's, that's, there's more that I like about myself than what I dislike about myself. And that was a game changer for me. And I know some of you are probably thinking, well, what about loving yourself? I'm glad you asked because at the end of the year, at the end of that year, 2009, I was able to say to myself, guess what, Steve? I love me. I love who I am. But let me encourage you. I like myself. It's a neat way, a unique way of helping to change that mindset. What will I leave? Number three. Number three. Oh, number three is so good. I just can't wait to give it to you because number three really, really helps to solidify, to solidify 
<laughs> this whole growth, this whole change of the mindset, okay? You ready for number three? I know you are. Number one again, what, will I, what, what, what did I learn? Number two, what will I leave? And number three, you ready for this? Check it out. What do I feel? What do I feel? About seven years ago, I started saying this five word statement over and over and over again. I say it every year. Let me share it with you as well. I want to feel good. <laughs> I want to feel good. Let me give it to you. I want to feel good. That's my statement. When I'm in different relationships, when I'm interacting with different people, the ultimate desire for me is I want to feel good. My question for you, what do you feel? What do you feel right now? And why is that important? Oh, I can't wait to share this quote with you that's going to really help to solidify. What do you feel? Here's what I know. You don't overcome challenges by making them smaller. Let me repeat that. You don't overcome challenges by making them smaller. You overcome challenges by making yourself bigger. And here's what I know. These videos are designed to help you and I to get bigger, to grow bigger. And here's what I know. If you and I can grow bigger on the inside, becoming bigger on the inside helps you to deal with everything on the outside. Okay? And so, again, what do you feel? If I was in front of you right now, I would invite you to just take an ink pen or maybe your notes on your phone and just jot down different things that come to your mind when you think about what do you feel? What do you feel when you reflect on your life? What do you feel? What do you really feel at a core level when you look at the, 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 the reality that your life was meant to be here? In fact, my friend, let me encourage you with that. No matter where you are right now, you're meant to be where you are. And as I get ready to close this video, let me encourage you with this statement that I'm going to come back and teach on later that will help you to have somewhat of a gauge of how to tell how effective, how effective you are with your thinking. Okay? So if you're writing notes, jot this statement down. I really want you to allow this statement to be marinated in your thinking for this new year. Marinate it in your thinking for that new objective that you're shooting for. Marinate it in your thinking for that, perhaps that new goal that you're shooting for. In other words, you have some goals for this year. I want this statement to be marinated in your thinking that will help you to move from where you are to where you want to be. And here it is. Brave Thinking, write that down, brave thinking leads to bold action. One more time, brave thinking leads to bold action. And this is why it's important that you don't overcome those challenges in your life by making those challenges smaller. You overcome those challenges by making yourself bigger. And you know what, as I close? You've already done this before it's in some level, at some level of your life. You've exercised brave thinking. And you've also had some bold action. All I'm inviting you to do now is to take that principle that, you've already, that you're already accustomed to and to apply it in some other, other areas of your life. Because here's what I know, friend. Changing your mindset will help you and I to be, do, have, create, and to give more because you were meant, you, my friend, was, you were meant for more. So I encourage you, <laughs> again, it's a song. I'm kind of spinning off of a song I heard way back in 1981. Come on, come on and grow with me. Come on over to my space. I'm believing in you and I wish you well.